Hey guys, Thunder E here and the brand new iPhone 11 Pro Max is finally here. So let's see how it stacks against the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Let's not waste any time, let's find out. So Apple's iPhone 11 Pro Max is finally here. It's the latest uh, uh, iPhone device. It's now called a Pro because Apple feels like this line is more Pro user in mind. And there's an 11 Pro and the 11 Pro Max. But we're looking at the 11 Pro Max because how does it stack against the Galaxy Note 10 Plus? That of course is the Pro device. And that device we know has a lot of features, but let's look at the 11 Pro Max first. It comes in four new colors. Well, there's a gold, uh, there's a new space gray, uh, there's a white, and there's that midnight green, which I do like that color. So let me know what you think about the colors, because I'm leaning towards midnight green, might pick something else. In terms of storage, we're looking at 64 gigabytes, Yes, 256 and then 512. So Apple is still keeping the same uh, scheme, if you will. Its price starts at 1099 for 64 gigabytes. That ugh, doesn't stack up well because the Galaxy Note 10 Plus at 1099 has, is basically 256 gigabytes of storage. Well, let's look at the display. The iPhone um, 11 Pro Max has a 6.5 inch, inch display. It's called a Super Retina XDR display. The reason for this new naming is because it got, it's got a bunch of new features. There's HDR uh, 10 uh, support. There is also Dolby Vision support on this. Uh, this display has a huge contrast ratio of two million to one. It's also got uh, max uh, brightness in terms of nits at 1200, regular at 800, so that's pretty high. It's a vibrant display. Uh, just like the Galaxy Note 10 Plus displays vibrance, uh, I think the max needs is about 1,000 to 1,100. I could be wrong, but it's a super bright display. So both displays have nice brightness, colors, the things you're looking for in a display that you love to see. Now, when we move to the back of the device, that's where, of course, you see the camera hump, a new camera hump. I'm using, of course, a dummy model here in this video. But what you do have is a triple camera setup. First time iPhone has gone to that. The Galaxy Note 10 Plus has always had a triple camera camera setup, uh, and that's something new for Apple. Uh, this time they have 12 megapixel cameras all across the board. There is a wide uh, angle camera, which is the main camera at 12, mega, at 12 megapixels f1.8. The ultra wide is a field of view of 120 uh, with also uh, f-stop of 2.4. And there's a telephoto with f-stop of 2.0 and it's also 12 megapixels. Now the Galaxy Note 10 Plus has a triple camera setup, uh, two 12 megapixels, one 16. The 16 megapixel is that ultra wide, 120 degree, I believe, uh, field of view. Uh, I think it takes lovely photos, pictures, I'm gonna do, of course, we'll do our camera camera video, of course, on the iPhone 11 Pro Max to see what it actually brings to the table. Now that we have a new found camera bump on the iPhone 11 Pro Max, I've got a few cases from my good friends at Spigen that I really like. The first one is a liquid crystal case. What I like about it, it's flush. It basically balances out with the raised edge of that camera bump. And of course, you've got protection all around. This, of course, is a see-through case. So you get to see the colors of your iPhone 11 Pro Max. Now, the next case here is the Rugged Armor, which is a case that I love to use. It's got that tough feel, uh, TPU feel all around. Nice protection on your iPhone 11 Pro Max. You've got that center cutout to show you the new iPhone logo. Of course, we're using our dummy version here, but you get the idea of how this fits with your iPhone 11 Pro Max, and this should go a long way. But the camera on the iPhone 11 Pro Max is packed with a ton of features. All three cameras can record 4K 60, and Apple says your camera, your images will still look the same across the board, which is pretty nice. We'll see how that stacks up. It's got a night mode, similar to the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, except the Note 10 Plus night mode is something that you can switch to. This is automatic on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. When it gets dark enough, it will switch over to night mode for you. So we'll see how that pans out with his photos, but there's this new next generation Smart HDR to give you better photos. And apps like Filmic Pro allows you to record with all four cameras on the device, three at the back and one in the front in 4K60. Yes, the front-facing camera now records at 4K60. It's also a 12 megapixel camera, 
and that camera allows you to record slow motion. So get ready for slow fies. I guess slow motion selfies is what Apple is calling it, slow fies on Instagram. It's gonna happen because now you can record slow mo with the front facing camera. But that's pretty nice. Now, this cinematic uh, stabilization that does 4K, 1080p, uh, 720. We'll see how that stacks up to Steady Shot or Super Steady from Samsung. If that's better or worse, we don't know, but we'll see how they all pan out. But it's exciting to see Apple is continuing its camera um, foundation. There's also easy ways to transition between each camera lens and it does have zoom in mic audio similar to what we have in the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Now uh, in terms of audio itself it does have spatial audio now included as well as Dolby Atmos and the stereo speaker setup so we're going to see something different from Apple this time in the audio space. So stay tuned for that speaker test. Now, other things you see in this device, it's IP68 rated, so we have that. It's got wireless charging, as you would expect. Uh, we no information if this is faster or fast wireless charging. So I take it as it's been the same while Samsung has fast wireless charging up to 15 watts. So mind you, 15 watts, because Apple's wire charging is 18 watts. And that 18 watts wire charging um, is be, will be compared to what we find with the Galaxy Note 10 Plus at 25 watts. So check out my um, um, charging speed test on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. You'd be surprised, 68 minutes, pretty fast. We don't no idea what the battery is on the iPhone uh, 11 Pro Max, but uh, we do know that it will have five hours more uh, uh, battery life uh, on this new battery size. Let's see what it is. It uses the lightning ports, uh, so that hasn't changed at all. Now on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, just a few things to mention. We know it does have um, a lovely display. That display on the um, Note 10 Plus is a 2K display. The display on the iPhone 11 Pro Max is not. The display resolution is 2688 by 1242. Again, Apple has funky display measurements, as you all would expect. It's a vibrant display on the Note 10 Plus. It has a triple camera setup powered by the Snapdragon 855, 855 processor. We have up to 12 gigs of RAM and it starts at 256 gigabytes of storage. It does not do 64 gigabytes, so that's a huge plus. Uh, we also do have wireless charging. We have reverse wireless charging and that wireless charging is fast wireless charging at 15 watts. Uh, the charging there is a, it's a, um, a 25 watt charger. You can get a 45 watt on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus and we have a 4200 milliamp battery. Now, all that being said, the extra feature we do have in the Galaxy Note 10 Plus is the S Pen. And the S Pen has a ton of functionality that we know quite well. Uh, we've got the ability to write text that we can draw on our devices. Uh, we can also use the S Pen for a actions to uh, navigate through the camera using it in a standing position or if you're trying to take video and photos from far away or with family and friends, doesn't matter. So you have that built in there. Something that's just very unique and interesting. Plus you do have DeX, which is the ability to plug in your Galaxy Note 10 Plus to a display or a laptop and turn it into a full desktop experience. Again, something the iPhone 11 Pro Max just doesn't have. But I want to hear from you guys. What kind of videos would you like to see once I get my hands on the iPhone 11 Pro Max? I'm going to be doing a gaming video. I'll be doing a speaker test for you guys to see. Uh, also, we're doing a, um, a charging test as well. I might do a battery drain test. That's something I've never done, but if that's something you guys want to see, I'll try and do that for you as well. I might also do a test between the 18 watt charger and the 15 watt wireless charger on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. See how both of those two stack up. It's very different, very interesting. But leave your thoughts down below and what do you think of this brand new iPhone? Do you like the iPhone 11 Pro? Do you like all the features it brings to the table? Is there anything new? Or is it just a catch up from Apple as we usually see on a yearly basis? Leave your thoughts down below. Uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and check out those speaking cases down below if you wanna pick them up because you're gonna be needing cases for your iPhone 11 Pro.